Hey, everybody. So this is the final video of the week. Um, so for this, uh, for the, this module, we're now in the revision stage. So we've gone through the pre-writing with all of our reading. We have gone through the drafting stage where we built our essay based on our reflections and based on our thoughts and, and all of that. And now we are finished with our essay. We have our intro and our conclusion and all of our body paragraphs. It's somewhere in the neighborhood of 1,000 to 1,500 words. And so we are going to begin the revision process. So I wanna spend a little bit of time talking about the revision process because the, um, the overwhelming urge during the revision process is just to uh, not do it, right? <laughs> and just turn it in and get on the other side of the assignment. And I want to um, I want to make a case for not doing that, because one of the things that we do when we write, we do the same thing when we when we read, and we do the same thing when we are uh, having conversations, is that we gloss over things because we're making connections in our mind that may not be um, explicitly made on paper or in words or um, even in our reading, right? And if you've ever had the um, the experience of reading over words. Right, where you get the gist of things and you're just kind of flying through a text or you know if you haven't explained yourself fully because you know in your head you have it figured out um you know sometimes you know i i will begin a uh thought in the middle of a sentence um because it was going on in my head but i don't you know didn't tell the people around me uh you know what I, what i was thinking or what led me there and so as we begin revising our writing we have to look for instances where we did the same thing and so um, there's a couple of resources. Now, in your syllabus, it shows this video is uh, three separate videos. But I think it works better if I record it all at once. So I want to show you the revision guide. And then I want to walk you through what you're going to be doing and give you some pointers on, um, on revision. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. So I'm in D2L, and I am in Module 7 Revision, all right? And so I'm going to go into my peer editing assignment. And for this assignment, you're going to be starting a thread. And you haven't done this before, so I want to show you how to do it. You're going to start a thread here. Your subject is just going to be um, your last name, and I'm just going to put happiness essay rough draft. And then there's a couple of different ways uh, you can just copy and paste your essay into this field here, or if you go to this add stuff, insert stuff and select my computer, it lets you upload your file. You can upload it as an attachment. Um, but if you can't do that, it's fine if you just copy and paste your paper here. All right, so we're not, we don't really care about formatting um, right now. You're just gonna put your paper, you can also attach it. There's a place to add attachment. That actually might be the easiest way to do it. Okay. And so for this, you're going to upload a draft of your paper to the discussion thread, and then you're going to read through at least one peer's rough draft and use the guided revision resource, which is right here, to provide a critique of the draft. And then you're going to take that and you're going to respond to your classmates thread by uploading um, the completed revision form. All right, so everybody should get a response is my goal. Um, if if you're submitting late and there's no one left to respond to you if so this is intended to be a, an in-class activity if you don't have it done for whatever reason or if you weren't able to attend class um you can certainly use this guided revision tool on your own you could have somebody else fill it out for you and um, upload theirs but this is what it looks like so i'm going to share stop sharing that
this. So it's going to open up as a file, as a separate file. And I'm going to Sorry, I turned my screen. I think I'm going to share my screen. Oh, let's just share the entire screen here. Okay, now I am sharing everything. So I'm going to look here. So, um, you're going to put the writer's name up here. You're going to put your name here so that they know, even though you're posting uh, this, this is a, a hangover from an old activity. And so it gives you a whole bunch of prompts. And it takes you from the most important part of your paper, which is your thesis, down to the least important parts of your paper. This whole activity, if you do it on your own or on your own paper, or if you do it on somebody else's paper, will probably take about a half hour, um, 40 minutes minimum. And so don't skimp on this because it's really meaningful feedback. It's also the categories that I use when I walk through uh, final drafts of essays. And so you're going to go into their paper, you're going to copy and paste their thesis or research question. You're going to answer these, the, whether the thesis is focused or broad. You're going to ask whether it fits with what the rest of the essay said. And then you're going to go into each of your paragraphs and you're going to summarize the paragraph in a single sentence. Right. And so I have a couple samples. These don't have to be long. They might look like this. So this is on a different essay, but students disengage because they don't see the point or teachers attitudes about content um, are, are there. So you might say something in this happiness essay. Um, you know, happiness is, is the wrong name. What people are really seeking is purpose. And then in the next one, you might say happiness is an essential component of living a healthy life and life. And, uh, so on and so on. And you'll do that for all of the paragraphs in the person's paper. They probably don't have 12, but I put 12 spaces. And then you want to look, do these paragraphs all clearly serve to support the thesis? And you can read all these, uh, but as you go into development, it asks you to find the topic sentence, find a rationale, right? Why that topic sentence exists, what the support is, your explanation, the conclusion, right? The rationale is just where you're talking about why this topic is important. And then write down any elements that you see missing from paragraphs. All right, and you can do this either in the margin of the paper or you can uh, write notes about paragraphs here. Do they build meaningfully? Does your introduction and conclusion work? Is, your, is the paper readable? Does it have a title? Is the title effective? All these things, I'm gonna stop sharing here. All the things that I'm going to be taking a look at and that are part of um, the rubric and the learning outcomes of the course are areas that we can look at for, um, for your revision, right? And so hopefully that's clear. Um, really, the goal is to give meaningful feedback and constructive and kind feedback, right? So we all work really hard on the paper. This is something that... Um, you know, is, is an important step in our academic journey. And so we want to be kind to people, but we also want to give them feedback that, that helps. So it's not helpful to say, oh, it looks great. Right? That's not helpful. Um, to say that some of your paragraphs are missing topic sentences, that is helpful because you can go and act on that and it makes you a better writer. And so um, as you're going through and as you're doing these uh, this peer revision activity, please let me know. So you're going to be submitting your uh, rough draft tonight at 11.59, so that's going to be due. You're also going to be working on these peer revisions between now and Sunday. So the due date on those uh, peer revisions is going to be Sunday night at 11.59. Final draft of this essay is going to be due on um, Monday the 29th at 11.59 p.m. 
you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you.